Have you ever wondered what exactly happens to your body when you take steroids? It's a question that sparks curiosity in many, especially those interested in fitness and bodybuilding. Let's unravel this mystery and explore the basics of steroids. Steroids, in their most basic definition, are biologically active organic compounds consisting of four rings arranged in a specific molecular configuration. This definition is broad and includes many substances you might not typically associate with the term steroid. For instance, corticosteroids, substances often prescribed by doctors to reduce inflammation in the body, fall under this category. Even cholesterol and estrogen, crucial substances in our bodies are technically steroids due to their similar four-ring structure. However, when most people talk about steroids, they're usually referring to anabolic androgenic steroids. This is the type of steroid that's often associated with sports, fitness, and bodybuilding. Anabolic androgenic steroids are designed to mimic the effects of testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, in the body. In an average healthy male, the testes produce between 4 to 9 milligrams of testosterone per day. But when synthetic testosterone, an anabolic steroid is introduced into the body, it significantly increases the amount of testosterone circulating in our system. This exogenous or externally introduced testosterone is treated by our bodies as if it were naturally produced. It enters our cells and binds to what's known as androgen receptors. From there it binds to the nucleus of the cell and attaches to DNA. This process activates hundreds of genes that stimulate protein synthesis and reduce protein breakdown. The result? Our muscles are more likely to maintain a positive protein turnover rate. This means that more protein is being built up than broken down, a state that's beneficial for muscle growth. It's this ability to enhance protein synthesis and muscle growth that makes anabolic steroids so popular among bodybuilders. Aside from improving protein turnover, anabolic steroids also increase the number of nuclei in muscle cells. These nuclei, or myonuclei, are the control center of each muscle cell. The more myonuclei a muscle cell has, the greater its growth potential. Now that we have a basic understanding of what steroids are, let's delve into how they work in our bodies. Your body treats synthetic testosterone the same as its own testosterone, but what exactly does this mean? Well, let's dive into the science of it. When you take synthetic testosterone, it's like sending a surge of reinforcements into a battlefield. This extra testosterone floods your bloodstream, and your body, not distinguishing between the synthetic and natural testosterone, deploys it all to work. These testosterone molecules, like little soldiers, march into your cells and bind to what are known as androgen receptors. Think of these receptors as the command center. The testosterone soldiers report in and receive their orders. The next stop, the cell's nucleus, the control hub of the cell. Here, the testosterone binds to the DNA, the cell's blueprint, triggering an activation sequence. This isn't a random sequence though, it's a carefully orchestrated process that activates hundreds of genes involved in two key areas, protein synthesis and protein breakdown. Protein synthesis is like the construction crew of the body, building up muscle tissue. Protein breakdown, on the other hand, is like the demolition crew, tearing muscle tissue down. This might sound counterproductive, but it's a natural and necessary process. It's how the body repairs damaged muscle fibers and adapts to new physical demands. But here's where the magic happens. Steroids don't just activate any genes. They selectively turn on genes that stimulate protein synthesis and turn off genes that promote protein breakdown. This effectively tips the scales in favor of muscle building. With more protein being built and less being broken down, your body enters a state of positive protein turnover. Imagine a city where more buildings are going up than are being torn down. The result is a skyline that keeps growing taller and more impressive. That's what's happening in your muscles. This improved protein turnover rate is one of the key ways steroids assist with muscle growth. It's like turbocharging the construction crew while putting the brakes on the demolition team. The result? Bigger, stronger muscles, built at a pace that would be impossible without the help of steroids. So, in essence, steroids are a powerful tool in accelerating muscle growth, but as with any tool, they must be used responsibly and under the right supervision. Aside from protein turnover rate, steroids also affect the number of nuclei in muscle cells. As we delve deeper into the effects of steroids, it's crucial to understand the role of myonuclei. These are essentially the control centers of each muscle cell, directing the processes that contribute to muscle growth and repair. Now under normal circumstances the number of myonuclei in a muscle cell is relatively stable. However, when you introduce anabolic steroids into the mix, things start to change. 
The steroids stimulate the production of more myonuclei, which means that each muscle cell now has more control centers working to support its growth and function. But why does having more myonuclei matter? Well, think of it this way. The more command centers you have in a city, the more efficiently it can function. The same principle applies to muscle cells. The more myonuclei a muscle cell has, the greater its potential for growth. It's like having more hands on deck, each working tirelessly to build and repair the muscle. This is why steroids can lead to significantly larger muscle size. However, it's not just a numbers game. The distribution of these myonuclei matters too. Each nucleus has a certain domain within the muscle fiber that it can effectively control, known as the myonuclear domain. When a muscle cell grows beyond the reach of its existing myonuclei, new ones need to be added to continue the growth process. Steroids facilitate this by promoting the addition of new myonuclei, allowing for further muscle growth beyond the natural limit. So, in essence, steroids can supercharge the muscle building process by increasing both the number and distribution of myonuclei in muscle cells. This results in a greater potential for muscle growth, explaining why steroids are so popular among bodybuilders and athletes seeking to enhance their physical performance. But as with everything, there's a flip side. While steroids can promote muscle growth, they can also lead to a host of other issues, some of which can be quite serious. It's clear that steroids can significantly impact muscle growth, but what about the other effects they can have on the body? We'll explore this in the next section. While the muscle building effects of steroids may sound appealing, there are also a number of potential side effects to consider. Steroids, like any other drug, can have harmful effects on the body, particularly when used improperly or in excess. One of the most immediate physical side effects of steroid use is the alteration in appearance. Users may experience severe acne, not just on the face but also on the back and shoulders. Steroids can also cause a noticeable increase in body hair, along with a deepening of the voice in women. Men on the other hand may experience testicular shrinkage and breast development, a condition known as gynecomastia. But the effects of steroids aren't just skin deep. Internally steroids can cause a whole host of issues, they can lead to liver damage or even liver failure. Steroids can also increase the risk of heart disease by raising blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Over time this can lead to a heart attack or stroke. Psychologically steroids can be just as damaging. Users may experience mood swings from bouts of depression to feelings of invincibility. Some might develop a distorted body image leading to an unhealthy obsession with muscle size and strength. In extreme cases, steroid use can lead to aggressive behavior, known colloquially as roid rage. And let's not forget about the long-term health effects. Chronic steroid use can lead to a dependence on the drug resulting in withdrawal symptoms when trying to quit. It can also disrupt the natural production of hormones in the body, potentially leading to infertility. In conclusion, while steroids may offer a shortcut to bigger muscles and enhanced performance they also carry a heavy toll. The potential harm to your physical and mental health should not be overlooked. It's essential to remember that these substances should only be used under the supervision of a healthcare professional and for legitimate medical reasons. As you can see, while steroids may offer some significant benefits in terms of muscle growth, they also come with a number of risks. We've covered a lot today from the basic science behind steroids to their potential side effects. Let's take a moment to unpack everything we've learned. We kicked things off with the fundamental understanding of what a steroid is, a biologically active organic compound with four rings arranged in a specific molecular configuration. From corticosteroids to cholesterol and estrogen, the term steroid encompasses a wide range of compounds. However, for our discussion we focused on anabolic androgenic steroids, the type that mimics the effects of testosterone and is commonly used for enhancement purposes. We dived into how these steroids work, taking a closer look at the intricate process that happens in our body. By introducing synthetic testosterone, we increase the level of testosterone in our bloodstream. This testosterone then enters our cells, binding to the androgen receptors and attaching to our DNA. This process triggers a chain reaction that stimulates protein synthesis and reduces protein breakdown, leading to a positive protein turnover rate and muscle growth. We also explored the role of myonuclei in our muscle cells. The more myonuclei we have, the greater the potential for muscle growth. Steroids increase the number of these control centers within our muscle cells, pushing the limits of our muscle building capacity. But it's not all roses. We also delved into the potential side effects of steroids. These can range from minor discomforts to serious health risks. It's a stark reminder that every choice we make about our body has consequences. Steroids are a complex topic, 
and this video only scratches the surface. There's so much more to learn and understand. However, we hope that this journey into the world of steroids has given you a better understanding of what happens to your body when you introduce these potent compounds. Remember it's important to fully understand the implications of any substance you put into your body. Stay safe and thanks for watching.